Hey everybody, Pete Kluzak here for Bash University TV, and I want to talk to you about one of my favorite cash and rods, one of the rods that I use a lot. Um, it's a multi-purpose swim jig rod. It's F90474B, and that's what it was designed for, but what, well, and I, I use it for that, but one of the, my favorite ways to use it is I like to use this rod for fishing my finesse jigs. Um, and I, I see this a lot with guys, they'll, uh, this little finesse jig is a half ounce, and a lot of guys are gonna wanna go to a flipping stick because it's such a, a heavy lure. They're gonna wanna use a powerful rod to pitch and flip this. But in my opinion, that's a bit of a mistake. A lot of the finesse jigs uh, have a lighter wire hook and they're designed to have a light wire hook. It's a finesse jig. So I like to use this rod. It's, it's a medium heavy action. It doesn't have a huge backbone and it's got a fast tip. This, this rod is so well suited to managing this jig, pitching and flipping it, but making that hook set. It's got a nice medium heavy backbone. It's got the fast tip, so it's not gonna bend open that finesse hook. It's not gonna pull that out of the fish's mouth, but you still got plenty of rod. It's seven foot four inches in length. So it's plenty of rod to move line. It's plenty of rod to keep pressure on the fish, get them up and out of the cover. So um, I really, really like this rod. I'm gonna put it to work out here a little bit. Fishing, you can see I've got a lot of pads. I've got, a, I've got some concrete. I've got some overhanging trees. I typically will fish my uh, finesse jigs on a 20 pound test. 20 pound test gamma fluoro, but it's, it's got such a nice action, fast tip. It's gonna allow me to be very, very accurate with my pitches, allow that bait to get in uh, real quiet. It's got a tremendous feel because the rod is not a big heavy flipping stick. I can feel everything with this finesse jig. I can feel the bottom change. I can feel when I come through wood. I can feel when I'm coming through pads. Uh, I can detect everything, especially I can detect strikes really, really well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pitch, I'm going to flip around with it. Uh, when it comes time to set in the hook with this rod, uh, you know, I'm going to make a nice, firm, sweep set, hook set with this rod on a finesse jig. Once again, we're dealing with a lighter wire hook. A power snap hook set, you're going to run into trouble. You're going to potentially bend that hook, bend it out, uh, bad stuff can happen. So you want to you want to reel down and you want to power sweep set into that, into that fish. And then once you get that fish hooked up, you want to build energy in that rod and look how that takes it. It'll keep that hook pinned. It'll keep that fish pressured and it'll help you land those fish, uh, which is key, which is key when, you know, you're talking about a little finesse jig, but let me tell you something, giants bite finesse jigs under certain conditions. Sometimes we want big baits for big fish and other times when conditions are more challenging, a finesse approach is required to get those really, really big fish to bite. So be prepared for that. I love this little rod from Cashin. It's a terrific rod for throwing finesse jigs. Check it out. I think you'll like it too. It'll help you catch more fish with these little babies. They really catch them. Pete Gluzak for Cashin Rod and Bash University TV.